the Solutions Team was started as a IT consulting company. We don't sell any hardware, or software. We're not aligned with anybody that sells hardware, or software. Um, and in 2007, we did a project for a regional bank to help them design their disaster recovery, or what's called today the business continuity plan. And so, in that process, we discovered that they spent about $2 million uh, building a data center in North Mississippi. And the $2 million wasn't the facility, it wasn't uh, anything except the servers and the racks and the air conditioning system and the generator. At the end of the project, I sat down with their chief information officer, their CIO, and asked him why he chose to build his own data center versus using some third party's data center. He informed me that the main reason they made that decision was because at the time, the third party data center, the rack space, or whoever was in that, that arena would sell you space in their data center, but you still had to provide all the equipment. So it wasn't really gaining him anything. So we looked at that as a business opportunity, and we said, what could we do to go ahead and, and as a company, invest in the technology, invest in the equipment, and basically spread that cost across our customer base so we could give them the access to these high, available, high availability servers, data backup, et cetera, without forcing them to spend $2 million to make that happen. Cloud computing is really um, the next thing, and it's, uh, the concept has been around here a long time. Uh, it started as a, uh, application service providers, and what that, is, what that started as was companies that had a specific application, an accounting application, a customer relation management application that they would actually host for their customers. Today, cloud computing uh, is anything from uh, Microsoft Online to email online. It's basically internet-based servers uh, that are sitting in a data center somewhere that a customer doesn't have to purchase that equipment anymore, doesn't uh, a lot of times have to purchase the software. They're only charged based on what they use. I was asked the other day, why did I believe that uh, cloud computing was working now and was really going to take off where it's kind of had some false starts over the last 10 to 15 years. The reason that cloud is going to work now is because internet access is becoming more and more affordable. High speed internet access is becoming more and more available. Uh, there's some initiatives right now to get uh, high speed internet across rural America. The federal government uh, put out some grants that were available that uh, people have taken advantage of. In, in Mississippi, uh, I know that AT&T is in a fiber deployment right now. I know there's some third party companies, even like Telepac, uh, who is uh, a part of the same company or ownership as Sailor South, is uh, in the process of laying some additional fiber. Uh, I know that Arkansas and Alabama are doing the same thing. So the rural initiative that the federal government put to, to give high speed internet to rural America is actually working. It's one of the few things that is working, but it is working.